introduce yourself to our podcast. Here with another interview with another great guest. For people who don't know, introduce yourself to our podcast. Hi, I'm Marcus. I'm the voice of Rodney O'Neill and Valentine and Skullgirl and Ari and Little Legends and a lot of great things. Now, now uh, recently you've been in Kill a Kill. Um, and you take on it like wow. that is very, uh, I guess, the very evil, 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 She's pretty evil. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's evil. evil. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, like, did you see the anime prior to taking the ball? Um, I have seen a couple episodes prior to auditioning. Then when I got the role, I watched the entire anime because I could. Um, uh, so... I, I didn't prior to auditioning, no, prior to getting it, that's <laughs> sort of villain and I'm totally ready to just like go in on my first day and then never go in again because I will have been recast and gone for forever uh, but you know I put a lot of faith into Alex uh, as the director and just sort of was like okay I'm gonna do what I do and he was fantastic awesome awesome um, do you have voices in any other uh, shows and games um, what it was uh, school girls yes um, can you tell us like how exactly you got cast into the role of Valentine? Um, actually, I had auditioned for Parasol. Oh. And or Parasol, para, or whatever. Parasol. Uh, Parasol. There we go. Um, 
and oh. they liked my audition for Parasol for Valentine. Huh. So I just got an email one day being like, hey, we would like to offer you the role of Valentine if you're interested. And I was like, of course I'm interested. I love to work. So I kind of went in not really knowing because they didn't even say in the email like why I had been cast. I went in not knowing what kind of voice they wanted, what was really going to happen, and then you know they said, okay, we liked your Parasol audition. And that sort of gave me an idea of where the voice was at least. And then um, we just sort of worked on it from there and she became her own um, bad, awesome self. <laughs> it's interesting to hear that because, I mean, it's, School Girls has been around for, for, for a while, and I, it's interesting to hear that Valentine's Day was initially Parasols. Well, it wasn't initially Parasols. It was my audition oh, for Parasols. Okay. Yeah, so it was, it was, because I, I mean, I auditioned for pretty much every Skull Girl except for Philia and Cerebella. Okay. So I auditioned for Peacock, I auditioned for Miss Fortune. I, you can technically, I think somewhere on my computer, there's still me doing all of my versions of these characters. They exist. Uh, but it will except for Valentine, oddly enough, and Double. Um, because they just, they liked the way I had sounded in the Parasol audition for Valentine. Which happens sometimes in the industry. Like, oh, you know, we don't like that girl for uh, Mary Jane, but we'd love her to play just like that, Gwen Stacy, and so they don't even bother to like re-audition you because they know they want you to do exactly that thing you did, just with different lines. Interesting. So for the other characters you try the uh, voice acting for, um, exactly like did you did your like uh, sound of what they sound like like came close to the other voice actors for their score role characters, or were they completely different? Uh, that's a good question. Peacock's a lot like what I would think Peacock would sound like. Ms. Fortune was not at all like my audition, but I love Kim Lin's Ms. Fortune. Uh, when I heard it, I was like, oh yeah, that's way better than what I did. Like, that is that that is the perfect fit for that character. Um, and then the others, you know, pretty pretty similar in line and, you know, Pain Wheel, I was screaming loudly. Danielle screams loudly. It, it's, it's, when you're casting, it's it's not so much about like the voice quality necessarily, because you'll get a lot of the same voice there, quality. It's awesome. the acting of the lines. And but like, let them know how you know, first. that's going. And how you interpret those lines and your spin on the character. So in that way, it's hard to like say, oh yeah, yeah, it's exactly like mine was, because I don't know what their auditions were like. Right. It is, it is, it is interesting just to kind of hear like, because in some games, like in RPGs, like some games, they don't have voice acting in it, your text. And like your kind of sound of what they sound to you is to somebody else. So I can yeah, totally. That. Yeah. Um, so last two questions. Um, for Kill a Kill, what do you like about the character? What, what don't you like about the character? Okay, I don't like that she's like really close to her daughters. <laughs> uh, Oh, it's yeah. a little, it's a little, yeah, she's, she's, she's got a very intimate relationship Word with, intimate. with Satsuki, and um, I think if the, there was one thing about her that I hate the most, it's probably that, although at the same time, from like a outside perspective of like looking at it as a work of art, it's really, like, it makes her very intense, and it's one of the reasons she's such a huge villain, is people are like, whoa, 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 that's so not okay, and I'm like, yeah, it's really not, uh, and then, what am I like best about her? She's just, she's so, she's just so evil. Like, I've played evil before, but she might be the most evil out of all of them. So, I mean, she's, she really like, she lives in a dark place and is not at all ashamed of it, which is kind of funny because she like glows like the sun, but she lives in a dark place. But yeah. What's going on, man? And taking from Delta, what do you like about her and what don't you like about her? Uh, don't I like I like everything about Valentine. Um, yeah, I, I really can't think of anything I don't like about Valentine, except maybe that when I do her flatliner in the air, which has nothing to do with her character. But anytime I do EKG flatliner in the air, I'm like, oh, Valentine. I mean, oh, um, and I just love everything. I, I love the the design of Valentine. I like the way she plays, oddly enough. Um, I like her backstory. I like how cool she is. I can't, I can't think of anything. Alright. Oh, thank you for this interview. Thank you very much. Um, so before we go, um, where can they find you on the internet? Um, 
Uh, my Twitter is at Laura Post Voice, and my Facebook is Laura Post, and you just friend me. Although, if you're going to friend me, please send me a message first, just being like, I am a fan of your voiceover work or something, so that I know you're not a bot. <laughs> That's all I ask. So, yeah. Awesome, thank you. And you can find this video, among others, from Anime LA on our website at missionstarpodcast.com. You can find this video on our YouTube as well at youtube.com slash missionstarpodcast1. Uh, again, it's day one only, and we still got several days to go from here. Uh, expect a lot more content in the coming days, so stick around. See you next time.